All right, welcome, welcome. Flamingo food. What did this lady mean by flamingo food? Well, it's the foods that flamingos eat to become pink. And I think we all learned that in elementary school. Flamingos are white or gray or something, and then they start eating shellfish and shellfish and seaweed, and they become pinker and pinker and pinker. So that was the idea of the class. And the reason we decided flamingo food is because Anne discovered a large stack of flamingo napkins in the cupboard. <laughs> so that worked. Now, J July, we're doing corn, and I think corn is appropriate for July. Al Bosman, a county board supervisor, farmer from the south part of the county, will be my sous chef then. And I called Rochester, Minnesota, because Rochester, Minnesota has a giant metal corn cob on top of their water tower. And Daryl Hofflin said he used to help clean that. I've got to call oh, him yeah. and find out. <laughs> and then I called Mitchell, South Dakota, with the Corn Palace. And Rochester and South Dakota both sent to us a box of stuff to use for then. And remember when we did spam? Hormel and Austin sent us a load of things. OK, that's enough. We should start talking about flamingo food. Then to make it a little nicer, Ann Craft, our wonderful Ann Craft, who did all the decorating and creating flamingos. Hold up those flamingos she made. Yay, Yay hey, 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 Ann. And did all, she did. And Cheryl Feld at the desk crocheted that flamingo. It has knees and a little chef hat. Um, and I went in to introduce to you the, my, our volunteers today. Francoise Pietzner, we know Francoise. Tristan Lanay, his mother, Liz, and I started the cafe at the Art Center 20, 23 years ago, the year 2000. And he's 16 now. So he has, and their summer home is in Sheboygan. Yay. So he's here, and he's helping me today. I'll get back to you, Aaron. Sure. <laughs> Jackie Barbeau, sometimes I call her Vicky, but most of the time Jackie. <laughs> Peg Watson, Yay. and Peg is always in charge of displaying the desserts. The desserts today are Rice Krispie Sushi. I did not think you wanted regular raw fish seaweed sushi, so we have Rice Krispie Sushi. And of course, Terry Snow is here. She helped put together the punch. And here's wonderful Janet. The punch. Anne. 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 I know. Up her I know. <laughs> Thank God I don't call you Louise. <laughs> um, Ken Beckley gave to me a large armful of rhubarb. I cooked the rhubarb with sugar and packages of strawberry Kool Aid. So it makes it nice and red. And then Terry put into it some seven up, so help yourself to the punch. And I left it kind of fibrous because rhubarb is fibrous. If you like smooth punch, this is not it. This is not it. Yep. And Aaron Brault is the sous chef today. He's from the county. Tell us your title, Aaron. Yep, I'm the county planning and conservation director, so. Planning and conservation director. Yep. Okay, so you're in charge of uh, we wear, yeah, planning and conservation, yeah, yeah. so our, our office wears four primary hats. So uh, on the planning side, we do zoning things, uh, mostly in the unincorporated areas of the county, so we don't deal a lot with the city, but we do have some projects that we do work on in the city from time to time. Um, so we have that side of the office. The conservation side of the office typically deals with the ag community. Trying what, to what can you, ag ag agriculture, yep, you, ag, ag you. community, trying to keep the nutrients on the field where they belong and not in our streams and rivers and eventually out to Lake Michigan. Um, and then we also have county parks under our purview, so um, the Sheboygan Marsh, Gerber Lake Preservation Area, Amsterdam Dunes Preservation Area, a lot of the trails uh, like along 23, the Inner Urban Trail that eventually makes its way down to Milwaukee. 
Um, in the city here, the one that runs behind Walgreens, the old rail line on the south side and the south side utility corridor uh, is ours. And then the other hat we sort of wear is uh, all the counties mapping. So your tax data, um, if you dial 911 and the ambulance shows up at the correct address, that means my staff did their job right. So all that background information that goes into dispatch and, uh, you know, and a bunch of other mapping too, environmental stuff, uh, like I said, tax parcels, things like that. So. If you get a survey done, it, it's filtered through our office, and you can go and click online now and pick up your so, survey. So if we have our yard surveyed for a new uh, uh, garage, it's the county that comes to do the survey? No, the, no you hire a private survey oh, to okay, do it, but okay. we're the depository for surveys that are done in the city, okay, surveys do, that okay. are done out in okay. town of Scott, Plymouth. So okay. we have a repository of, I don't know, 100,000 surveys since okay. back to 1838 when you know Sheboygan County became a county so you have a lot of things to do and you seem to know how to do it really well Aaron good and well, you grew up in two rivers I grew up in two rivers and I live maybe three four blocks down the way here at six and bluff in the city good, so, so good yep. and his wife is allergic to shellfish so as he said no kissing her tonight yeah <laughs> and, yeah. And, there's and, and Marilyn is one of my 25 bosses so on <laughs> the county right board yeah. yeah right <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I give him orders to, to please tell me what's going on. That yeah. would be the order I would give to Aaron. And a couple of people I found out today are allergic to shellfish. So eat just the salmon and the rice crispy sushi. Not the mussels, not the shrimp dip. You could probably have bread too, huh? Bread, <laughs> yep. And the rhubarb punch. Crackers, all right. Anybody know first aid in here, just in case some? <coughs> Wendy, right there. Emily. Emily, I know that's Emily. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's start with the salmon. As I say, this is Ann Craft's family recipe, creamed salmon and peas on mashed potatoes. I made the mashed potatoes ahead of time. The make-ahead mashed potatoes that you learned a few months ago are in the oven in the kitchen. And I'm going to make a little batch here. And Anne is going to demonstrate to you how she skins the salmon. Because this salmon is made with fresh salmon that she purchased, cooked, skinned. This was not in a can. Okay, Sam, my dear, you're on. <laughs> Cut the... All right. You all have a recipe. Yep. Uh, I need that first. I know, but just, just so she... No. Oh. Your hands off. <laughs> okay. 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 This is part of my story. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Down in the corner is the recipe for the potatoes. That's the one from January. And then the rest of it is, this is what is mixed together. And then this is about the fish. I started this and have gotten all involved again. I am a walker. I walk the lakefront every day. Our government has chosen Sheboygan and Port Washington to plant salmon and lake trout again. It has been, they stopped doing it in the 80s and now they are starting again. So we now have the availability of salmon on the lakefront. And oh. Anne, do you remember why they started salmon in the first place? Planting it? Alewives. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And um, anyway, um, it is surprising to me, I did check around town, and besides the fishing being horrendous down on our lakefront, Almost every grocery store in town now has fresh salmon in it. <coughs> so, get a knife and a knife sharpener, a nice fillet knife and a knife sharpener. And you'll use that to skin this. All right, in 19, I forget what year, my daughter had a birthday. 
I asked her what she wanted for her birthday dinner. She wanted cream salmon and peas. <laughs> family recipe. Yes, family recipe. So, for years my husband had been a fisherman and we canned our own fish. And so I used a can of fish from the store because he hadn't been fishing anymore. And she didn't like the flavor. So we started checking around and the difference was in our salmon, when we canned it, we added ketchup. So just that hint of ketchup in that salmon made such a difference in flavor. And color. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. So, yes, you take your sharp knife and then you're just going to skin. And if you really want to know, you can go down to the lakefront and watch the guys doing it. And I think the, the fish cleaning station is closed right now because the grinder is on the fritz. Yeah. Oh, somebody put too much big junk in it. Too much stuff. So, junk. This doesn't work very well with these gloves on. Take them off. Yeah, take them off. <laughs> And while she's sharpening her knife, I'm making a little bit of white sauce. Marilyn is going to prepare. This is, this is what, after you get done with my process, this is what you're going to end up with. Annie, I think I'll give up on this. Who cares? You're going to go home and you're going to get a nice sharp knife and you're going to take a nice piece of fish. Take your gloves off. Okay. What? You can take your gloves off. It's going home with you. <laughs> you want me to drain these, Marilyn? Yeah. Let's see if I can do it without lumps. Last month was not successful, but I think it will be today. <laughs> yeah, you should see. You should come up and see how to make a white sauce, huh? <laughs> Well, I bet every woman in this room and every man knows how to make a white sauce. And of course, if you don't, there's cans of cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> and what do you think that is? <laughs> well, hey, hey, who is this guy? Our mayor. Hey, hey. Mayor Ryan Sorensen. We're doing creamed salmon on potatoes. We're doing fresh mussels. And it's filet though. Yep. Did you catch it this morning? I wish. I'm the way here. How's that going? Good. Oh, tell us about the fireworks. It's a close fireworks. They're going to be bigger this year. They're going to be the best ones we've had in a while. So we're spending a little more money on them. That's why. So. <laughs> Did anybody sponsor him this year? It's just, yeah, it's the same one. Uh, mm. Johnsonville still do? Johnsonville uh, Festival. Okay. This is not a good festival because our double fireworks day is our own. No? And of course, I think at the thick end, it, it's easier to make it work. Well, it's just that this is probably 90 old. And of course, mother made salmon for us a lot. Red sockeye. She was so frugal, but she did buy the red sockeye always. Is that a cheaper kind of fish? No, it's salmon? the expensive one. Oh, it's the expensive. Yep. It's surprising because as I was growing up, my mother made the green salmon and peas. That's where I learned it. And at that time, a canned salmon was actually a frugal meal. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. I'm talking the 40s and 50s. Salmon was cheap. Cream salmon. All right. I'm not I don't like salmon, salmon, but I'm not going to say that in front of the crowd. <laughs> but you did get it. I like your shoes. Thank you. No, oh, yes, Ann. No. It's, it's a Old school from the 70s. But, huh? It's a mess. I'm not going to. It's been I don't mind perch and, and like, oh, like okay. white fish, but I... 
it is somebody you have said a nice to me fresh one it, would, it works so easy someone said to me they take the this salmon with the skin on it slap it on a piece of dry foil bake it or grill it or whatever on the yeah. foil and then you can peel off the salmon and the skin sticks to the foil Ooh. let's hope that's true because that would be great yeah it's true there's many ways it is true okay here, Anne. So, do you add? Did you? Do we need to add ketchup to that then? We can. Is that her recipe or? After it's been filleted in skin, and you um, cut it in pieces, and then you put it along. I don't want to do that. Okay. Along with some salt and pepper, oil in the bottom of the uh, baking pan, and some ketchup. You mix that in the pan first, and then put your fish in and put it in the oven and bake it for about an hour. And then periodically you can go in there and stir it up. And when, you're, when you bring it out of the oven, it'll be like that carton look. And then from there, you can use it for Yes, the cream salmon and peas, or you can make a dip out of it, or anything else you want, because it's all baked and it's nice and flavorful. And these are the lake salmon that your husband caught yes. in Lake Michigan. Yes. All right. And now, you, it, you can send some some of these men out and tell them to give them, <laughs> give them an excuse to go there and buy themselves a boat. <laughs> <laughs> to store in the garage that's full. <laughs> but if you even just take a ride down on the lakefront on a weekend and just go along that parking lot there, that parking lot is absolutely filled. It is, yeah. With vehicles towing boats and bringing them in. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to eating a full portion of cream, <laughs> salmon, and peas on mashed potatoes. Now, she also said you can add any other flavoring that you want to your taste, like Worcestershire, soy sauce, ketchup. And I have provided lemon, if you want to squeeze lemon onto your salmon on potatoes. Now we're going to the mussels. There's a box of mussels in the refrigerator, a cardboard box. I have... Now this is a new Mirage Cadet from Volrath. Do you know how to turn this thing on? No. It's a convection, I'm less, oh, probably where it says on. It says on. on and off, yeah, yeah. there we go. The power temp, let's put it up. 40, no, we want oh, it 40. That's Celsius. Okay. How, how, a smart man, I would, I don't know, what is the temperature of, uh, of the range on our stove at home? I don't know. 400? Let's go 400. 400? Yeah, let's do that. That's, a, that's the max. Okay, all right. And this will turn on. I will continue to cut some onion to go into there to flavor it. I'll chop some garlic. And of course, you know me. I like big pieces of the onion, so that's what I'm putting in there. If you like dice, you do dice. If you don't like onion, you don't put it in. Okay. Do we have to add oil or anything? Nope. Nope. Oh, but you can put a couple of cups of... A little hooch in there? In there and in here. Yep. All right. Yep, that's cups what I need. Cups or mean. just a little... No, a couple of cups. And now, garlic, garlic. That's a cup. You know you can use garlic powder. You know you can. There are no garlic police checking you in the kitchen. But here at cooking class, we use the, the fresh... And you can chop it, you can put it in whole. Again, there are no cooking police checking your house. Is that good? That's good. All right. Okay, so into this white wine. Oh, butter, butter, butter. I need butter from the kitchen. Come on. And of course, I forgot the bay leaves. But Sometimes bay leaves make a difference. Other times, they make a visual difference. 
this would probably work better too if we turned it to a higher. Yeah. yeah oh, I got you it up did. to 400, yeah. Yep. So they will bring the muscle. Anybody here fond of muscles besides? Yes. And I get them at Prohibition Pizza. They always have muscles available. And the first thing we need to do is check to see if the beards have come off and if they're not sandy. And they will have them down to me in just a minute. The shrimp spread on the table is fresh shrimp that I cooked mixed with cream cheese, mayonnaise, and I think I gave you the recipe. What else is in the recipe? Lemon juice. Lemon juice green, onion. green onion. Or chives. And cream cheese and yep, right. All right, and we have our butter. And the other thing I will interrupt you with is your centerpieces represent how the flamingo lives. Their thing is that they like the water, but they have to have a muddy area around it. And in that muddy area is where they will lay their eggs. And each flamingo will only have one egg per season. One egg? One oh, egg okay. per season. And they usually mate for life. Lee and I made it for 60 years. Can you believe? It was 60 years Christmas Eve. My God, that's a long time. <laughs> so you asked about, you have to make sure the beards are off? I've yeah, never heard I'm, that before. Oh, what, and what I only mean? found one with a beard. They must they have sold me nice and clean. Oh, here. So just where they sucked in like some seaweed or something? Mm -hmm. Or is it theirs? I don't know. Oh, oh here's some with some with the beard wow. on it. And th this will all be cooked, so you'll easily take it off if, it, if there's still some adhering later on. Hmm. When I'm going to give this a rinse, and this a rinse. We'll put this into one into each, and then it yes. takes three to five minutes until they open. And when they open, they're done. Okay. What about the butter? Oh, yes. Break that in half and one in yet. Yeah. One in each? Yep. And that's just to add flavor. And of course, you could add basil. You could add any other flavors that you happen to like. You could put in fennel if you like that licorice flavor with the seafood. Give this a quick wash. Sure. Cold or hot? Cold. And this one, a quick wash. When they're washed, just poke your hole, poke a hole in the bottom of the bag and bring them over. Mussels. Growing up in Chippewa Falls, I'd never even heard of mussels or clams or shrimp or lobster. But those are the foods we learn to like very quickly. Yes, Jan, what do you want to say? At Schwartz. And I purchased the shrimp at Schwartz also because I needed shrimp for another event. So I bought a big bag of shrimp in the shell, boiled them, shelled them, deveined them, and that's the shrimp that's in your shrimp spread today. Yes? This one happens to be lemonade stand, lemonade moscato, but some kind of a white wine. It, it can be, or a prosecco, or it can simply be, what's the, the usual white wine we, we drink? And, and you can use red also, but red mixed with the cream has a funny look to it at the end. Okay, go ahead, pour, pour, just drop them in there. Drop them in. And I like that sound. Okay, cook, baby, cook. <laughs> ah. Chardonnay, Chardonnay. We all drink Chardonnay. I'm going to throw them right in here. Yep. I'll hold this. Got it? Just pour them? Yep, just pour them on in. Listen to the rattle. And they're closed nice and tightly. I've never had a muscle. And I'll show you a trick when it comes to eating them. Have you had clams? They taste like yes. clams. I've had very bad. Yep. Mussels, I like mussels better. I give up clams. 
These guys are starting to open, Marilyn. Okay. So keep, just keep an eye on them, three to five minutes or so. All right. Muscles. Let's see, I have hot water. Okay. My friend in Milwaukee sent to me this tea, bold blue tea made with black tea and another butterfly pea flower. Okay, this will be blue when I make it, and then I'm going to put lemon juice in it, and supposedly it will turn magenta. Let's find out. When these are done, where do you want me to put them in? Uh, when, they're, when they're done, when they're open, put half of the heavy cream in there and half of the parsley. Okay. Ooh, it is turning blue. Can you see the blue? Oh it boy. is blue. It is definitely blue. Keep the heat on, Marilyn. Keep the heat going. No, look at that. Here, just lift one up so we can see that. Are they all open? Pretty much, oh. yeah. It does not take long. No kidding. Yeah, and then, then turn off the heat. Put the cream in and put the uh, parsley in. And you too, Tristan, when they're open. Oh, oh, not all of them are quite open. Now I'm just going to leave her on for a couple more seconds. Okay. Now do you tell me if it turns magenta. Francoise, can you stir it? They're all open. That spoon? Yep. Okay. She said half the parsley. Not yep. Yet. Half of the green stuff there. That's parsley. And then half yep. of the cream. Second. Let me get some more lemon. And then just throw the rest of that in there. It looks black right now. Yeah. If they're all open, turn the heat off. Yep. Yep. Oop, did I get you? No. Sorry. Well, at home it worked nope. great. Okay. And here it just looks black. I did. I... Is there too much tea in it? I think you're exactly right. It's overpowering. Okay, I would need lots more yep, lemon. Yep. Use the rest. Yep. Because it looks like it's it, it is. Yeah, it's like... I think you're absolutely right it's thinking about it. Oh, now it's starting. Yep. I think you're absolutely right. I put too much tea in it. Let's take out some of the tea so it... It just looks like yeah. stems and stuff. It's fine. All right. Please tell it's starting to turn. Sushi. I have the sheet tray. Marilyn, I At the end. It doesn't work anymore. And there should be a... Oh, okay. This simply aids in getting it out of the pan. And you've all made Rice Krispie bars. Melt the butter, yep. melt the marshmallows, add the Rice Krispies. Now we we'll turn off the heat or pull the plug. Wow.